Hello everyone, I hope everybody had a fantastic New Year's. I'm currently filming the day after, so <laughs> I hope everyone had a good time. This is officially the first video I am filming on the new year. Uh, the video you saw before that was still during Christmas, and I do apologize for not bringing you a video during that, you know, gap week between Christmas and New Year's, but I got busy. Let's unveil all of them. I kind of accidentally already opened one, and yes, I am injured again. Literally, what else is new? Um, sorry. <laughs> Let's get into it. Ta-da! Here are the three best girls ever. If you don't know where these are from, uh, there's the show that you guys know at this point, I would hope if you've been watching my channel that I'm completely obsessed with, is Yasha Hime, which comes from, it's like a, I don't know, a sequel. And we have the three Yasha Hime princesses here, which, is that redundant? I don't know. But we have Setsuna. Toa and Moroha, which I think is interesting by the way. Toa is the only one with the last name. Higurashi, which of course is Kagome, Kagome's family and Kagome's last name. So these look amazing. <laughs> I was thinking earlier, what a better way to start the new year than to start with a whole ass new generation, right? We're taking Moroha out first because she's my favorite. And yes, I do have favorites. Uh, I will show the packaging of the pop-up box. Here's her packaging for her pop-up box. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these because uh, they're pretty simple. And I love that. So we're just going to focus on taking them out first. And then we'll get to opening them all up and everything. Here is her packaging. We have purple and a little bit of red going on. A lot like Shoshomaru actually. For sure. Here's her box. This nice blue color with the small red there on the square. Very nice. I really needed to start doing these on their sides because I always end up dropping the figures. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here's her base. Here's the best girl ever. Ugh. base following in the same color scheme we have Setsuna herself and we have her weapon we'll talk about these after blue base for Toa oh she does look quite good actually there's her and her weapon Okay, let's remove all the plastic and we'll get to, to putting them on base. My goodness, why was that so well protected? Here's the base. And there's two pegs. Two holes. One hole. Just to give you a good idea where you're supposed to put her. There we go. That's so weird, they're just like in these little bags. It's hilarious. I love the color. What? We've got her weapon. Let's see how easy it is to put in right now, actually. Okay, that wasn't too, too difficult. You just have to make sure that you can align and push it in from the bottom. Come on. Come on, camera. Come on. Push it in from the bottom and then just get her little fingies out of the way. It's funny because I'm not as scared to be rough with these because they're not as delicate. So if I need to put a shim in like I just did, I just go, just go in, you know? Okay, so this one is way easier to put in since there's no um, little bump here at the end. You could just slide it in from the end and she holds it pretty well. 
So let's take a look at all the curls together. Wow. Okay. First impressions out of the box. Of course, they look amazing. I love that the base correlates with their color. Uh, Moroha, of course, is red. Toa is blue. Setsuna is purple. That can uh, very well be seen throughout the anime. That they have, like, the, you know, the colors that each represents them. Which I like. Because it distinguishes them even more. And, uh, we like that. Plus, it makes it look very, very pretty when they're all next to each other. So... I'm not mad at that. First off, we're gonna start with Sasuna just to mix it up a little bit. Uh, she's in like a neutral half walk pose, uh, holding her weapon, which she looks amazing, honestly. We did talk about the bases already. I love them. They're slightly transparent, so you can see through them. Um, I would like that a lot more than if they were opaque, so definitely a fan of that. Overall, the detail is very, very good, actually. Um, I always talk about pop-ups and how good their detail is for how little money you give them for it. Uh, and we'll get to that. Just just hold on. I really like that she's posed with her uh, Naginata, which is the weapon that she's holding. And uh, she just looks really good. She has her signature outfit on. Um, I don't believe they have any variants in the show that I've seen so far, actually. They don't wear that many outfits, now that I think about it. Um, but anyways... She's about 7 inches. I think she's a little bit taller than the other girls because of uh, her Naginata. And uh, she is ABS uh, and PVC, of course. Uh, typical materials that we're used to. The manufacturer is Gutsma, and then the sculptor is uh, Yoshino. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have Toa Higurashi, of course. Her figure ends up coming up to around uh, almost seven inches so she's definitely smaller than Setsuna but Setsuna's taller just because of uh, her weapon not because of her actual height itself they should all be within scale to each other has the same material as Setsuna as well with uh, ABS and PVC uh, same sculptor same manufacturer and she's in I, I just noticed this actually but she's the same pose as Setsuna I wish it was kind of a different pose or at least like alternate so that her right foot was back i don't know i don't know i don't know how i feel about that but i guess it's okay she looks very good last but most certainly not least we have the best girl my favorite girl moroha uh she looks absolutely stunning and she's also the smallest girl barely coming in at six inches she's like 5.9 or something like that same sculptor for her as well same manufacturer she has her weapon kuri karamaru so that's what you see her holding here. And I like that her pose is way different than the other two girls. Um, I guess you could say that it's cute because they have similar poses and they're siblings. Uh, Moroha is the cousin. You could like that. Uh, I personally wish they each had their own distinct pose uh, rather than the two sisters having a similar one. But it is a pose that they would be naturally doing anyways. So I guess, you know, it's all good. But I definitely love Moroha's. She's very confident. She's very sassy, and you can definitely tell that just within the pose. She has her hand on the tip of her sword there, and she just looks like she's ready to fight. And I freaking love it. I love it so, so much. Okay, I have one complaint about this figure, and it's not big. The detail overall is immaculate. No one is saying otherwise, right? Like, if you go to the front here, she looks absolutely amazing. My one issue is the back and more specifically with the stitches of her robe. In the anime, these are black. They're supposed to be black stitching. She doesn't have red stitching that matches her fire, the, the robe of the fire red. And it looks, I don't know, it just looks unfinished that it's not black here. And I'm not sure why they decided to keep it like that. I don't also know if it's supposed to be like that. Um, I really just wish that they would have done it. Small, small complaint. Um, I know that these statues are really, really affordable and that's why I'm not harping on it so much. But I will say if this was any more expensive, that would really bug me. And that's it. <laughs> I still love her and I still love the rest of the girls. So. Let's move on 
to pricing. Here we are at everyone's favorite section. I always like to joke about that because it's no one's favorite section. <laughs> But it might be in terms of pop-up figures because this is where I like to rave about them the absolute most. I purchased these through the Good Smile Company and uh, that's where I tend to buy a lot of the pop-up parades. But you can find them in other uh, locations so just be aware if you don't um, find them there. Or if you for some reason can't get them delivered to your country or anything like that. All three of the girls retailed for $37.99. Uh, of course, after shipping and taxes and everything, um, if it's not already included in the main price, like some of the other countries, then that will be tacked on towards the end. I love what they did with the bases here, each girl having their own. I love that. It only adds to the character's personality and they look great. <laughs> I like them looking all next to each other and I'm actually going to put them next to Shishomaru and Inuyasha. So we'll see if I include a picture or a video of that here at the very, very end. But let me know what you think. Let me know who your favorite is. The anime is relatively new. So if you haven't checked it out, I would go. Not sponsored, obviously. Um, I just think it's a great anime. So yeah, go check that out. Uh, I will leave my links for where to buy them down below in the description box. Uh, and also don't forget to go do all the sweet YouTube things. I always forget to mention in the beginning of the video, but I add the little, the little markers there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this is a great video to start the new year with because <laughs> the anime has been It's a bit of an adventure. I'll leave you to make your own decision about that. I know a lot of people have a lot of opinions, um, but I personally am enjoying it and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So I will catch you next time. I don't know where Rico is, so he'll just have to pop into the next video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Best girl.